Hello guys and welcome to Marcel Entertainment. I know it has been a while since I investigated on Dimash, but I'm really really sorry about that. One of our agents got the flu, so I had to take over his mission and continue. So yeah, that's why I wasn't there for a while. But hey guys, I'm back. Let the investigation continue. What I'm gonna investigate today is Dimash's performance of If I Never Breathe Again at the D Dynasty concert in Changsha. I hope I said that correct. And yeah, we still don't know if Dimash is a human or not. But hey, let's further investigate and find some proofs on whether he's an alien or human. And I have the feeling that this particular performance of If I Never Breathe Again will give more clues about him. Alright. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content and likes and shares are also very much appreciated. Let's start this investigation. He's a really suspicious singer. His voice is unearthly. What's that outfit? Wow, the way he started with that voice, that's just so beautiful. But his outfit is quite suspicious. It looks like from the planet Median. There's one planet, it's called Planet Median, where people also wear those uh, silver thingies and like this kind of, of, of shirt jacket thingy, like this looks like from the planet Median. Hmm, I will have to check my files and compare this later on. And yeah, that could be from Median, that outfit. Just look at his magnificent, amazing aura. Wow. You hear his vocals like he can go so soft and create some sort of echo with his voice as well. Like that's something really suspicious. I doubt that humans can create such echo with their voice, right? Like that is so hypnotizing. Just to listen to his voice is like hypnotizing. And he can not just hit those high notes, but he can actually kind of like roll those notes. Like kind of like a roller coaster, right? Like each time I listen to him, it's like I'm listening to a roller coaster of different heights and depths of, of, of notes. Like wow. So much talent. I'm getting goosebumps right now. Wow, it did sound like he was about to go into an opera style when he went like higher with oh. I can't even do that, like, I can't sound as beautiful as him because he is a really, really special talent, like, I've never heard a voice like his before. Oh, the microphone is so close to his mouth. Oh, his look. This is emotional. This is so emotional here. Yeah. And the way Dimash can deliver emotions to his fans, to the whole audience and anyone that watches and listens to him, that's just so unbelievable, right? That's one of the reasons why my organization is very suspicious of him, because he also can hypnotize people with his singing. <laughs> Now he's sitting, oh wow, beautiful. His outfit like from Planet Media. Ooh, that was powerful. Wow, and 
because Dimash can sing so well like ballads and those softer songs and those with a lot of emotions and feelings, his voice and style of singing is also so perfect for film music, for, for songs for movies, be it drama movies, love movies, any kind of movies. Like he's just so great for making soundtracks like songs for movies. Oh wow. Because he can deliver well emotions. And he does a lot of bling bling. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow, his voice control is so perfect. Like even on a soft level where he must be soft and not put so much volume into his singing he can still have like a huge range of vocals like he can be on, on, on such low level with his voice and he in this low level can hit so many small different notes and just change them fluent like water is any human even capable of doing that because like this is so incredible like I heard probably like maybe 30 different kind of notes already by him like different uh, frequencies levels and all that like wow <laughs> And his headphone looks like from space. Yeah, that's a headphone from space, maybe. Wow, his eyes are glowing. What is he about to do? Is he about to cry or something? Like, he really is so great with expression, expressing emotions in his singing. Like, that's so... Wow, unbelievable, right? And this instrumental in the background that we are hearing, that classical instrumental, it makes that song sound even more dramatic, like this instrumental is a really beautiful classic smooth one. Wow. It really adds to his singing well. So dramatic. Wow, beautiful. Why is he lifting his head like this? Is he going to stare at the sky waiting for a spaceship to arrive? That would actually make sense because we are coming soon to the end. Is he gonna wait for his, his, his ride or flight or something like that? <laughs> I don't know. And now his face expression is like, I will leave soon, but I will be back. Where is he leaving to? Which planet? Oh wow. That was so beautiful. I really, really love this performance. And this is like also a difficulty we have. Like, you have to be strict to someone, right? Because you are like checking if he's like from this planet or not because he didn't register. So basically he would be here without a, a, a visa on this planet, right? But at the same time, you have tons of love and respect for him because he's such a great singer. But you have to be serious with your job and still be strict and, and, and investigate and check on him. And like, I don't know, sometimes like, I have a fight with myself what I should do because I don't want to betray my job and uh, have like one eye closed and be like, ah, yeah, you're probably a human. I don't want to get you in trouble. But at the same time, like I have to stick to the rules of my organization. And yeah, like he doesn't seem like a threat so far from what I've investigated. He doesn't seem to be a problem for this planet. Then again, we are really suspicious about him because his voice is just so hypnotizing because it's just beautiful to listen to. It's like he's casting a spell on, on the audience each time he's singing. 
So that can be dangerous if he is a, a, a bad a, a evil alien that is trying to take over this planet, right? But so far we have only seen positivity coming from him. And that's why I said that if he is an alien, he only needs to register with our organization and apply for a visa. That's all he needs to do. But yeah, it's so difficult to, to prove if Dimash is an alien or human. Because on one side, you have those suspicious notes, like his voice is just like so unearthly, where you will be like, ah, okay, he's probably not from Earth because of the voices. Then you sometimes see him disappear on a spaceship, but you never see where he goes to, or if he's even aware of what's happening, because sometimes he looks very unprepared in his face when, like, for example, that one uh, video I saw where he flew away with a spaceship. Like... I don't know what he is, like, is he working with aliens, is he an alien, is he like, I don't know, half alien, like, we don't know what he is, his disguise is just so perfect, and his vocals are just so perfect, and this song is so dramatic, and I feel like Dima should make a lot of more songs for movies, I know he did songs for movies, and he's perfect for that, because he can really deliver and express feelings well, and He's very, very good with classical music, with modern music, pop. He's really, really versatile. He can sing in all sorts of genre of music. And that's just too much talent to have for one human being. Really suspicious, right? But this performance of If I Never Breathe Again, it was beautiful. I really, really enjoyed this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this one too and if you have any more clues or suspicious suspicious footages of Dimashko Dibergen please feel free to share it with me so I can investigate on those as well I wish you all a good day and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video till next time